or I pressed it down out this way. And if you feel like you stretched it up too much, then you can just go right back and just heat it up. Nice. Gotta be careful. I don't want this folding itself too much until I'm going to cut this whole thing out here. It's going to relieve a lot of that tension that's there pulling. I should have done it earlier.
I just already started the knifeless tape there. That'll give me the cut that I need. So for the prep, I've um, gone ahead, gone ahead and put a uh, knifeless tape all through the edges here. That's where I'm going to cut off um, the film. Um, what I'm going to do, since I need that much, about an inch um, of overlay uh, from, I guess, coming from this side, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay about an inch here of knifeless tape. So that way I can just cut with a clean line afterwards. Now this line is for the bottom. I just ran it up so I can access it later on. So that'll give me a line so I can cut a straight edge. Let's try to try to cut on the paint. So I'm gonna overlap there. And that's all the prep. I think I'm gonna lay another line here also so that I can cut this section here.
Alright, I'm just doing um, just a short video explaining uh, the antenna. I tried to do a wrap uh, the first time around, and this part, you know, I think I needed to start here. I think I started from the back and I worked my way this way. I think I need to start here. There's too much of a stretch here. So I'm going to start with the material here, uh, tuck underneath with a good uh, thin spatula or squeegee um, into the top. I try to remove this. I try to go underneath. There's a couple of holes down there, but um, I broke a tab here, so this is loose. I mean, I'm just going to put some of that uh, adhesive uh, tape that you use for the emblems to to kind of to hold that there. I mean, it's still it's still pretty flush, but just for longevity, I'm going to do that. Um, it looks for the like for the convertibles. There's some tabs there. There's no way for me to use the tabs. You know, because they're they're inside the recess, they're in a hole. I can reach them, but uh, there's no way to to, un to to undo them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, do what I did here. Just take my time and just try to be as careful like as I can. And um, the XM um, antenna, there's one there's one bolt, one screw. Uh, it's a 25 T25, I believe. Um, and this is what it looks like when it comes out. So, um, that's the bottom of it. This is the connector. So actually, I ended up just pulling back some of that insulation. And you can follow the cable. And, uh, and it'll come through the hole here. Um, so that should be, you know, it's not that difficult. Um, well, it just took a while to find out. That's why I'm doing a video. So if you're doing this, you won't have to. Um, this comes off. There's a couple clips here. So I'm going to take these off. Um, from the back, just take a screwdriver. They pop off. And this whole this whole stripping comes off. So that way you can get underneath. Now, with this here, I just, since I knew I was going to redo it, I didn't bother doing clean edges. So I'm going to redo this whole thing. That's why the edges are all, you know. But now, now that I do it again, I'm going to tuck underneath. So it'll be very clean. Um, and um, right now, I decided to do this in uh, three pieces instead of a solid piece. It just seems like it's a, it's a waste of a lot of material in order to try to get that huge piece and cut. Um, you know, and I, and I, you know, I already have you know, so much material that I've used. Um, but everything else is coming along pretty well. I got the front of it all done. 
um, you know, and there's a couple, I guess, mistakes that I've had, but I'm going to clean up, like the edges here, I'm going to put some of this uh, masking tape, uh, and that's actually mold trim tape, um, that'll get rid of all those little imperfections, but everything else is pretty straightforward. I'm going to do, um, I already did the other side, but here, um, what I do is I tape along this edge here on the on top of the rubber. Um, that way, it gives me a little room to tuck. You can actually go in. I use the uh, this is with alcohol. What I actually do is I wrap. I have this little tool. It's a little squeegee plastic uh, trim piece to trim. Um, I, I spray this with alcohol. Just this is still wet, and then you can actually go underneath. Uh, of the rubber and clean that out first. And on this side, it's similar. You can actually, you have to pull it out first. I use usually one squeegee to pull the rubber back and another squeegee to tuck in. So you'll see once I lay it there, I, I lay knifeless tape on this side to get a straight edge, knifeless tape on that side. Um, I start at the bottom so I don't have to do any cutting, so I get a straight edge down there. Um, and then I lay, uh, over there I lined it up, I lined the line with this black mark so it's even on both sides. And eventually I go back and I'll do this and I'll tuck this. So I just wanted to explain that a little bit before I get started. Alright, I have, um, right now I've laid three lines of tape. And uh, the first line I lay is this one that goes across horizontal. Then I lay the two verticals on top of that because the first thing I'm going to do is cut the edges and then the end, the last thing I'll do is cut the, is the bottom. So they run all the way down along the rubber stripping. They're, on, they're actually on top of the rubber stripping and that's what I want because that's what I want to get tucked underneath. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to lay my piece now. I'm going to cut that and that should be it. Um, Take some patience. That's why <laughs> sometimes I'm like, maybe I should have just paid the four thousand dollars for somebody to do this for me. Because it's definitely, I mean, obviously it's my car, so I want it done right. So I'm taking my time with it. 
I'm going to know probably spends about two weeks out here. Well, not too, really two weeks. I mean, it's an hour here, an hour there, half hour here, half hour there. You know, so it's if I had, you know, it's a couple, you know, it's a couple days. It'd probably taking about three days to do this from working the body hours a day, just because it's the first time. And obviously, you know, there's a learning curve, a couple of mistakes that I've made, and you know, having to redo a panel. You know, have to redo that that uh, that convertible panel. Careful here. And I'll go back and I'll add into that. There you go, you got straight. I'll go ahead and do the same one. This one's a little tougher, so you have to really get that spatula underneath there to get that off. Uh, and for this one, I'm going to need another blade. Another blade to squeeze These things are incredible. They're going to be by Avery. Um, yeah, they're made by Avery. They're little mini squeegees, but they're incredible. I mean, like, I, I couldn't have done a lot of this stuff without it. This one, this one's made by somebody else. This one broke pretty much on the first day. I tried to use it. Um, so I wouldn't recommend it, actually. The small end is what broke. This one actually is coming handy in a couple spots. So I guess, you know, it's not, it's not, some, not something that, it's not terrible. You know, it still works, it still does what it's supposed to. So here, this is, you know, this is what I would need anyway. I couldn't use the other one. Probably. Well, I did use, there's another little red one that's more flexible that came with this kit. And that actually worked too, but it's a lot easier with this. not to tear the vinyl because these little squeegees are really sharp. The one that I'm using right now is a, it has a really sharp corner to it. So just take your time. Just, you know, squeeze you and I'll go back over this. Take some heat to this too. So I'll tuck in, I'll go over again with this just to make sure it's pressed up. And then you're probably going to want to tuck, tuck this rubber back in. That's it. You know, I'll take some heat to it down here and that will be done. You know, obviously it's taking me a lot less time each time I go around. But everything is turning out pretty good. Um, I'm pretty happy with everything and nothing's really coming up right now. I just finished this side today, you know, and I did the door jams uh, up to a certain point. So, you know, lay some heat on it uh, in order to get it to stick really well. But, you know, it looks pretty clean. It looks like it's part of the vehicle. And, um, you know, the bumper's off right now. And, uh, well, it's not totally off. I'm about to take that off now, too. Once I um, once I get started with the with that side, I'm going to need to in order to get underneath of uh, here. So that's my next step now, and I'm um, still trying to decide if I'm going to do the mirrors um, and even the door handles. I'm still if I do the mirrors, I'll probably do both. It's just there's no black accents, um, but I'll tackle that at a later date. I got the my my turbo wheels um, powder coated. So those turned out really well also. Um, that was done by um, the radial tire in Maryland, in uh, Silver Spring. 
they used, I think, a company called uh, Wheel, Wheel Doctors, and they did a really nice job, good turnaround, you know, it took about two, two days, three days. All right, um, I took the rear bumper off. The, the reverse sensors, my car has the reverse sensors on, and what I ended up doing is unclipping them. And the plastic piece here, which is painted, I guess the factory color, has a rubber, has a little rubber boot on it. So what I did is I just ended up um, just cutting a small piece, you know, and just wrapping it, adding a little bit of heat to it, and putting the rubber boot back on it. And it'll end up looking a lot better than just either trying to do it while it's on the car or on the bumper. Um, so that's just a little trick, I guess, um, to deal with these little sensors. All right, well, you, I just finished uh, wrapping the uh, the car today. And I have the powder-coated wheels now. These are the Terabos wheels that I had on the car before. I just had them powder-coated. You can see with the, with the sun, the color shifts a little bit. But it's a satin, so it's not totally matte, but it's not totally glossy. All right, now I left the handles and the mirrors black. Just trying to decide if I'm going to leave those or not. Let me just check out some of the details. Same thing with the spoiler. I've left that black right now. See if I'm gonna leave it or not. 911 badges, something I also added. That's what the gaps look like the inside. Door. But I'm happy with the results so far. I just want to see how it holds up. And that's it.